1874, when the first Masquerade debuted, an annual parade for cosplay and fan-made costumes with large prizes presented to the winners. In 1976, the publicity supervisor of an unheard-of sci-fi film hosted a panel showing slides on a projector to a somewhat skeptical audience. That film was Star Wars, and thus began the practice of promoting films at Comic-Con in hopes of reaching fans like never before. In 1979, Comic-Con moved to the Convention and Performing Arts Center and stayed there until 1991, when the new San Diego Convention Center opened. Comic-Con has called it home ever since, but the convention was still very different from the one that we know today. As comic book movies have become increasingly important to Hollywood, the big box office success of X-Men in 2000 is generally considered the turning point for the con. Click to watch this awesome video we made about the history of comic book movies. Hollywood took another look at this comic book convention that had never previously attracted much of their attention, and they found that they should promote their comic-related projects. More involvement in movies and television at